Hello, everybody. We are high on ribs again. We are going to bring you now a new series called Fish Spotlight. Today, we're going to talk about the green chromies. Green chromies are a school fish uh, that they're really popular in the market or in the hobby. And today, we're going to bring you some myths and rumors about them. Also, how to properly care for them in your aquarium. There are certain rumors about them. The most common is that they are really aggressive fish. Uh, that's true because it all depends on the specific situations. For example, I used to have three of them in a 15 gallon with uh, two other fish. It was a clownfish pair. I was feeding once a day and then they killed each other to death. And the, the last one that I had, she's here with a uh, five more green chromies but now I'm feeding four times a day and they are really really okay with each other and with the other fish in the tank but they are aggressive you know like they, they have to be kept with other aggressive fish as well because if you give them the chance they will just bully up any other fish. The ideal water conditions for the green chromies the temperature of the water, it has to be from 72 to 78 Fahrenheit. DKH, it has to be from 8 to 12, that it's the, the common thing. And salinity, it has to be from uh, 1.024 to 1.026. For the feeding, you can actually give anything. They, they're really good eaters. The thing is that you have to feed them a lot. Um, so most of the times, uh, an out of feeder is going to help you a lot. You have to feed about two to four times, depending on how on the amount of fish that you have in your tank. One problem that I'm facing right now is that the more that you feed, obviously you're going to have a lot of phosphates in your water. So you have to keep that in mind. And another rumor or myth about the green chromies is that if you keep them in odd numbers, like three, five, seven, they, they are gonna stay like that and they are not gonna kill each other. It's, it's I don't know, it's, it's a rumor and right now I'm gonna <laughs> debunk that, that rumor if, if something happens because I have five right now. Green chromies are also really active swimmers. So that's something that I like a lot in a fish because it gives a lot of uh, life to your tank. If you are someone like me that likes to see a fish swimming all the time they are the fish that you're looking for i don't know there's a lot of people that don't like them that much because it's also because they grow so much and so fast so you have to keep that in mind as well regarding your tank space how big your tank is if something happens if they grow so fast then you can just change them from to another aquarium or just give them to the local fish store or something another thing that you have to keep in mind before buying one from the local fish store is that you have to really check the fish before getting it because they are well known to bring pests into your tank like um parasites and things in their into their stomach so you have to keep that in mind and also you have to check if the if the fish is healthy and it's not like all beaten up or you know what i mean because those are signs of weakness in the fish so that encouraged the other fish to pick on him and it's gonna end up being bullied to death last time that we went to to buy this green crumbies right here i remember that i told the guy to if i could check them and i did and i saw one of them that was all beaten up so i asked the the guy if he could change that one and he he did they, they cannot say no it's sad to do because you know that fish is gonna die but you don't want to buy it and so so he dies here you know so you have to take that in consideration another thing that you have to keep in mind if you want to prevent them from fighting you need a lot of um, hiding spots for them so they are not gonna uh, end up fighting for their home literally because there's a lot of fish in that place and everyone wants a home so if you don't give them enough hiding spots they are gonna end up fighting for one one home on one of the holes or one of the caves from your tank so yeah you have to keep a lot of available hiding spots for them and uh yeah if you want if you are gonna have green chromies i really suggest you have some some lead in your tank because of the same thing that they are really aggressive they are always chasing each other so at some point they're gonna uh, jump out of your tank so it's good it's always good to have a, a lead I, I have a glass lid but there are some mesh leads that you can find in your 
local fish store. Also, there are some things that can help you with this uh, parasite problem that they have. Uh, things like the cleaner shrimp or skunk shrimp. They, those shrimps, they are meant for cleaning all the parasites from your fish. And they do it. They just take, they're gonna take on a spot and they are gonna just be there for the whole day. And the, the fish that has, if a fish feels something like parasite or something in, in their skins, they go approach the shrimp and the shrimp will clean him. But we're gonna do a video regarding this another time. Okay guys, that was it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed please like and subscribe if you guys have anything that you want us to talk about just let us know in the comments have a good one we're high on rips